So let's look at some examples where we've now got negative fractional indices, negative rational indices here. So we've got 8 to the minus 1 third. OK, so first things first is that negative. I always deal with the negative sign first before I deal with the fraction because I know that that's going to be 1 over 8 to the third. Now I know that 8 to the third means the cube root of 8. The cube root of 8 is 2. So this is actually just 1 half. 16 to the minus 3 quarters. I'm going to write as 1 over 16 to the 3 quarters first. Now, when I've got um, a fraction in the index where it's not 1 over, I'm going to deal with the root first. So I'm going to write this as 1 over 16 to the quarter cubed. Now, 16 to the quarter is 2. The fourth root of 16 is 2. So this is 1 over 2 cubed. And 2 cubed is just 8. So this is 1 eighth. 4 to the minus 5 halves. Well, that's 1 over 4 to the 5 halves. Deal with the negative first. Then deal with the root. So that's 1 over 4 to the half to the 5. 4 to the half, the square root of 4 is just 2, so that's 1 over 2 to the 5. So 2 to the 5 is 32, so that's 1 over 32. 36 over 49 to the minus a half. So we're going to deal with the minus sign first. So that's 1 over 36 over 49 to the half. Now, when you have the square root of a fraction, you square root the numerator, you square root the denominator. So that's 1 over 6 over 7. Now, we don't want to leave that fraction in the denominator. So 1 over 6 over 7 is the same as 7 over 6, the reciprocal of 6 sevenths. OK? Then, finally, we've got a... 10,000 over 16 to the minus 5 quarters. So that's 1 over 10,000 over 16 to the 5 quarters. We want to deal with the root first. So that's 1 over the 4th root of 10,000 over 16 to the power of 5. Now, the fourth root of 10,000 is 10. The fourth root of 16 is 2. So you've got 10 over 2 uh, to the power of 5. Now, 10 over 2 is just 5. OK, so that's 1 over 5 to the power of 5. 5 to the power of 5, well, when in doubt, we're probably going to have to use some mental arithmetic, OK? So, 5 to the power of 5. Let's give ourselves some space. Well, 5 to the power of 1 is just 5. 5 to the power of 2 is 25. 5 to the power of 3 is 125, OK? Now, 125 uh, to the power... Uh, times 5, sorry, is 625. And then we've got to do 625 times 5. So bring out the old long multiplication, because I can't be bothered to get to my calculator. 2 5s are 10, plus the 2. Uh, 6 5s are 30, plus the 1. So 3, 1, 2, 5. So this is 1 over 3, 1, 2, 5. OK? And that is equal to the 10,000 over 16 to the minus 5 quarters.